So disc golf was an activity we were looking to add to our summer camp programs. Uh, we're always looking for fun ways for kids to just try something new, learn a new sport. And uh, we had decided we were going to put in a few disc golf holes this year and we'd ordered some baskets. And then lo and behold, we met our partners at uh, Chainlink Disc Golf who were approaching us about exploring the same opportunity. And by sort of finding that uh, synthesis, we ended up at a nine hole layout, which is now our Kelso Disc Golf Summer Nine. Since November 2018, Jeff McKeegan has designed 15 disc golf courses and had his hand in additional courses around the world. Disc golf is for everybody. Uh, one of the things we're really proud of about this sport is just how incredibly inclusive it is. There's, there's really no one that can't play disc golf. Yeah, it allows you to see different parts of a park that maybe you wouldn't see otherwise. Um, we're really mindful of taking the existing topography and the land and showcasing it. So it's not about cutting down trees and building parking lots and clearing meadows. It's about using the environment around you and, and using the natural landscape, taking people places that they might not normally get to see and giving them some of the vistas and views in the background that, that makes our parks important to them. Just like traditional golf, you start at a tee. You throw discs towards a suspended catching device. So you can use just one disc or you can have lots of various discs with different flight characteristics. So if you need to go around a certain tree or land in a certain area, it's one of the things that's great about the course at Kelso Disc Golf is you can use one disc or you can use lots of different discs. It's a pretty diverse course here. And just like golf, you have to go and find those rogue discs in the brush. If you're not ready to invest in your own gear, you can rent a set with a driver, mid-range and putter from the trailhead shop. And in that learning spirit, we wanted to make sure we were educating people about the world around them. So on every one of our hole signs, we've got a little did you know conservation fact. Um, some that talk about the trees, some that talk about the escarpment. There's some fun facts about turtles out there. And just different ways for kids and families to engage with the sport, right? So it's not just about you have to be really good and you have to get it in and par. It's, it's about come outside and enjoy a park, learn something new, try something new. And it's all part of having a great day. Shiraz Saluji discovered disc golf a few years ago and can't wait to bring his friends to give it a whirl. Absolutely love it. I'm a Milton local, been looking for a nice course local. Uh, the scenery is amazing. It's a challenging course. I almost lost a disc on the fifth hole. A uh, ton of fun, beautiful place to play. But we're really excited. This weekend is our grand opening event on the 26th. Uh, and we're just looking forward to celebrate disc golf, celebrate the parks. It's a day for disc golfers. It's a day for people that are new to the sport. It's a day for families, friends, everybody. Uh, we've got some great little giveaways. We've got some little contests. Nothing that you have to be the best golfer in the world to win. Uh, so there's a chance for everybody to walk away with something and, and have a great time outdoors, having fun, and maybe learning from some experienced players around them. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.